because some of you will want to know, let's go ahead and do this. I'm just going to grab the MacLab logo again, come down, drop it on Photoshop, and this time I'm going to add a layer underneath. I'm holding down Command and click on the new layer icon, which gives me a layer underneath. I can hit D to get the default colors, but I'm going to hit Command, Delete to fill that background layer with white because chances are this is how yours is going to look. And maybe, and I, you know, Option Command C to get the canvas size dialog box. That is under Image, Canvas Size. And because some of you aren't going to have this fit just right, let's just say you made it 500 by 100. And then I can go back down to this bottom most layer, fill that with white. So now we have, if hit Command Zero, you're going to see all the pixelation because this is Photoshop, not Illustrator. And we want to create a transparent ping. Let me show you. All you do is you hide this layer and then say Image Trim. Now this is a great time saver. Now by default, this is on the bottom right pixel color. Now there is no pixel color. There are transparent pixels, however, and Photoshop is going to crop this perfectly. What do you want to trim away? This is an, a very incredibly powerful dialog box that I use daily, over and over and over. So be aware of it. Image Trim takes this down. Hit Command-1 to go to Actual Size. That's the size of our image, 408 by 93, in this instance and I'll just cancel out of that and then when I save for the web shift option command s this time instead of jpeg high because I have transparency and the only reason to ever use transparency it, I mean to use a ping is if you have transparency that's it ping 24 that's what we want there's our transparency. We click Save. You save this out somewhere. I'm going to drop it on the desktop just so you can see. Oh, I got a bunch of fonts there. And um, give this thing a title. Save it. And then back at your website, back at 5 Alive, inside the dashboard, go to Divi. Come right here, click Upload Image, Upload Files, select your file. It's on the desktop, and it's right there. Terrible name, by the way. Name yours. Save as logo. See? Look. Save as logo. Set as logo. Excuse me. And then you come down and save. Head out to your website magic. And when you click on it, it automatically takes you back to the home page. How easy is that?